everybody. Under Ray. And there's Camo. Here comes Maggie. <laughs> She's so funny. You're running hard. Good girl, Maggie May. Good girl. Junior, no. Junior, come over here. Eh, eh. Go. Anyway, just got back from going over to my cousin's house and looking at some interior doors that uh, her boys have been saving. You can see I got to move my truck because I had to pull up out of the way. But look, y'all, we got lots of lumber and nails and seal it well subfloor glue and stuff like that but isn't this awesome look at that yeah he just um uh, was driving out of the driveway um pulled the truck up and then backed it up and pulled down and left but it's all um uh, when you see all this delivered everything gets real everything is getting real uh, don't you pee on that junior don't pee on it it looks like somebody done peed on it one two three times already so they should all start um um framing tomorrow let me um i haven't let the chickens out because it was raining this morning let me go let them out and i'll be right back with y'all well i let them out and they came right back in but uh, since i was down here show y'all what me and miss maggie had to do this morning we got a girl a doctor yesterday not for really for sure what's going on with her but she's one of my french bressy and um she's not feeling real well so we brought her in here and got her underneath the heat lamp i just finished it giving her some more water and some food and um i'm hoping i gave her some other medication this morning put some medicine on her hopefully she's going to be feeling better but i blocked everything off to try to keep the heat in yeah she's doing a, she's doing better maggie at least she's trying to get up but she ain't feeling good uh it th just the way she's acting I, I really will be surprised if she makes it but I did bring all my medicine over here um, I gave her some strongid I've put vinegar in the water I've put some um, of the first aid salve all around her uh, beak and stuff like that and um, she's alert she just seems to be losing some of her muscle ability but she's actually being more alert than she was this morning so maybe the heat help keeping her warm is doing doing better she's wanting to move now because i'm moving this stuff but i just came back and made sure i got her to eat a little bit of food putting it on my finger and put it in her bank and she has been taking water um off of my finger so um i'll just keep doing that every so often and hopefully she'll pull through uh, my luck with them pulling through um she's not really breathing hard but i do think it's something respiratory we'll see let's just say a prayer for them. my luck when they start getting sick like this hasn't been um the most positive outcomes but we'll just keep you know, praying for her. <laughs> Y'all know where I'm at. I'm inside this little pen. And as you can see, I got a couple of eggs. So I'm going to grab them real quick and then move on up to the house. I got the eggs and then I looked in here where I have my solar light. And as you can see, there's the wire coming down through. And there's, you see the wire showing? I gotta go get um, the tape and and um, tape that off so those don't get cut. So I'll be right back and get that fixed. Cause yeah, everything runs on solar down here. My electrical tape's in the side side. Be back. Well, I got down there into the flock, and I had doctored some of them uh, yesterday evening, and. Uh, looked at some of the same ones that I doctored yesterday evening and um 
need to doctor them again. Just put some of that first aid salve in around their eyes and stuff. Um, I need to look it up to see if it's uh, some type of respiratory infection or what. But um, the one little girl that the uh, little leghorn I doctored had the same thing. And she's done, her eyes done opened up and everything. So I'm hoping it, that's what it is. But I'm going to look it up and find out what it is. Hopefully it's just where they've gotten some frostbite <clears throat> in some of those delicate places and that their sores. That's what it feels like because they're scabbing over. We'll see, see um, if that's what's going on with them. But um, yeah, just a short video because uh, uh, we ran into town, ran over to my cousins, like I said, and um, my, uh, her sons have been saving me some interior doors. So we went and looked at them. And got some measurements so I could give to the framers. But look, people, we got lumber. We got subfloor for the for the loft. And, I mean, we got some 20-foot boards over there. That's got to be for the trusses for the upstairs. Or the subfloor for the upstairs. But anyway, ah, tomorrow, tomorrow is the day. They're supposed to start framing. So I need to check the weather, see what it's going to be like. I got my truck moved because it was parked up there by the wood to get out the way. And it is a nasty mess just from all the rain and stuff. And uh didn't want to make a real long video, hoping that all the chickens that are feeling a little under the weather start feeling better. Um, I'll just keep doctoring them. Um, that's what took me so long. I got down there and... So it started doctoring, and then the FedEx guy came up, and I was in, still in the coop doctoring uh, one of the roosters. So, tomorrow's the day. So, I'll I try to bring to y'all as much as I possibly can when they're working. I get on my, my little book with my field notes where I got all my measurements for my doors, and I got some goat warmer here, and some... Uh, chainsaw chains but uh yeah tomorrow hopefully we begin the framework i mean we got the lumber so hopefully I, i've made a decision if we if i'm going to frame up a, a bedroom upstairs and a storage over the section over there behind maggie that little room to make it storage that i'm going to get them to go ahead and, and do it and just hopefully uh we'll just if I need to order some more lumber we'll just do it but anyway rainy nasty day as you can tell by the tracks <laughs> uh and uh i'm gonna go in for just a little bit because it's almost time to come back out and feed for the afternoon and all other roosters and stuff keep hanging out over here but if you like the content come over and Hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, come on over and subscribe. And check out what we're going to be doing. And let's see how this this build goes. Um, I'm excited to see it all come together and see exactly what it's going to look like. Because you have always have, you know, an idea in your mind. And this was all my, my plan, my design. So I'm really looking forward to what it's all going to look like. So, with that said, hit that notification bell, and so you'll be notified um, every time we upload a video, and we will catch y'all on the next one. Mm -hmm.